Hey, this is a quick video to show you how I built an engine storage and test stand. All right, this is pretty easy. Don't need to do a whole lot of measuring. I started by just lifting up the engine on a hoist and located some mounting points. Um, this is really where the front um, engine mount goes on this old International 345, but I got a couple of mounting points here. And then I've got another mounting point back here on my bell housing or just where my bell housing hooks into the engine. So the idea is to suspend the engine and build the stand underneath it. Um, that way you know it's gonna fit perfect. So let me show you the stand that I built. You're gonna need some angle iron, some four by four, uh, some two by sixes or two by eights, and then some engine casters. So what I did first was cut out some angle iron and pre-drilled. So for example, right back here, pre-drilled, ran my bolt here, my bell housing bolt into the engine block. And then down here, bolted right into this four by four. And I did the same on the front. The difference is it bolts in on the inside this one bolts on the outside and they fit perfectly. So once you've done that, you want some cross bracing in here to hold these together on the bottom so they don't spread apart. So I just screwed with some construction screws, those in there. And then I've got some nice casters underneath there that are steel. And it's, I'd recommend steel because it just rolls a lot easier on a concrete floor. So that's, that's how it starts. Now the nice thing about this stand is that you can get full access to your rear main seal. We're normally on a, on a you know, traditional engine stand. The stand itself is in the way. This one you get full access to that. The downside is you're not gonna be able to rotate the engine on this. Now the other thing I did with this stand is I added some bracing and a radiator so I can run this engine for an extended period of time and then I topped it off with an old uh, lawnmower gas tank some switches for start and run and that's about it the rest of it is kind of up to you to be creative to come up with ideas on how to plumb this but it was a quick and easy stand, didn't cost a whole lot. Hope this works for you.